about ready to get started. So first of all, I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to all of you. Good morning. Thank you for being here for the launch or, kick or kickoff of the 2019 Mayor's uh, Summer Reading Club. So we're excited to uh, be announcing that we, we have started the Summer Reading Program. This is a very important program for the city. Um, and we are very fortunate that Mayor Nuremberg is the champion of this program. Unfortunately, he was not available today to be here with us uh, to share some remarks. Uh, but he believes, as we do, that reading during the summer is very important for, for students to continue to read. Uh, studies have shown that if students do not continue to read during the summer, they fall back in their reading skills. And so it's important to have programs and initiatives that encourage students to continue to read during the summer, and the library's Mayor's Summer Reading Program does that. Uh, later, we will have members of the library leadership team that will tell you about the theme and some of the things that we do uh, to encourage children to participate. But before we go to that part of the program, I'd like to recognize some individuals that are here with us today. Uh, I'll start with members of the Library Board of Trustees. We have in front of us here Linda Nair, who is the Vice Chair and represents District 10. Uh, Marcy Enns, uh, who represents District 9. And we have Josie Martinez, who represents District Three. Thank you, all, all three of you, for being here this morning. Yes. We also have some very important partners that help us uh, be able to deliver this important uh, program to to the community. Uh, and I'll start with uh, the friends of the San Antonio Public Library, and we have the current president Beth Graham here with us this morning. The San Antonio Public Library Foundation also provides support and resources, and I believe we have Katie Kinder de Botch. Is she here? Not, not yet. Okay. And uh, of course, the Magic Theater is here also supporting the Mayor Summer Reading Program. And so I wanted to acknowledge those three entities who provide important support for our Summer Reading Program. So, so again, I'm very pleased that. All of you are here. We have a lot of kids. Uh, they're already engaged in uh, conversation with our uh, librarians. Uh, we have a lot of activities for them after the program, and you'll hear more up, up about those activities. Uh, but again, I just want to express uh, our appreciation for your continued support. For those that are parents, we want to encourage you to enroll your, your, your children in the summer reading program. Uh, there's also an adult component, and you'll hear more about that in a few minutes. Uh, so at this time, it's my pleasure to introduce members of the library leadership team that are that really work to put this program together and to execute it. And so I'll start with the um, interim coordinator of children's services, Presencia Huff, who's over here to my left, and Jennifer Velasquez, our coordinator for teen services and Dr. Haley Holmes, who is the Coordinator for Adult Services. They will be coming to the podium very shortly to explain more about the summer reading program. Uh, again, thank you so much for this, this morning, and I, they're coming to the podium as a group, so I will step to the side and let them <laughs> take over. Good morning. I'm really glad to see so many children here this morning, and I'd like to ask the children if they would show me their hands. Can you show me your hands, please? Can you show me your hands? Thank you. And let's put them like this. Even closer. Here we go. Is that better? Okay. All right. So this summer, we are putting books into the hands of children. Yeah. Um, we are giving them opportunities to find joy in reading and learning about the world around them. Are we okay now? Oh, wow. All right. Should I start over? Okay, all right. Um, any child ages birth to 12 who reads any eight books that they like this summer will have a chance to choose a brand new book to keep. Why? Why are we giving them books? Well, because children who get to choose what they read are more motivated to read. And children who are motivated to read will read more, and they'll read better. 
We've also heard a lot about how during the summer when children choose not to read, they go back to school reading less well than they did at the end of the year. And the research tells us that if they read at least six books over the summer, they'll maintain their reading level. If they read 10 books over the summer, they'll actually advance in their reading level. So we're saying at least eight, eight is great, but if we can do 10, 16, 20, or more, even better. We're also excited to be spending the summer celebrating Apollo 11 and the lunar landing. This summer, children will have opportunities to explore everything from aliens to moon rovers to Van Gogh, but don't worry, there's no trip into outer space actually involved. We'll travel via books, art, and activities, and we're going to have a lot of fun together along the way. We have a full schedule of special performers, including the Magic Theater. Yay, Magic Theater! <laughs> Dinosaur George, Happy Tales, Sandbank Shadow Factory, and Will Parker. So this summer, your San Antonio Public Libraries are going to be filled with music and drama and animals, prehistoric and live. So we thank you for joining us mm -hmm. on that adventure. Fantastic. Yay. Hi everybody, I'm Jennifer Velasquez and I'm coordinator of Teen Library Services at your San Antonio Public Library. That means I have the job of taking care of 13 to 18 year olds and that is what our teen summer reading program is all about. You know, it's the 50th anniversary of the lunar landing and it's the 20th anniversary of the teen summer program. So we're so proud of that. And I have fantastic news on top of that. And that is in the first week of the program, we have already signed up over 1,000 teenagers, which is amazing. So we're, we, uh, we launched and we're heading towards a, a metaphor that I can't finish. Um, and so we want to encourage 13 to 18 year olds to drop by their library and uh, become a member of the summer program. If you engage in reading or attending library activities and you get to that magic number of eight, we'll be happy to give you a limited edition 2019 uh, teen summer program. Sylvia's laughing at me. Um, <laughs> teen summer uh, t-shirt. Also, we know that hanging out at the library is a safe, free alternative for a lot of teens. We want to encourage them to visit, take advantage of our air conditioning, and in many of our locations take advantage of the summer lunch program that we offer in partnership with the San Antonio Food Bank. So for example, here at the teen uh, library on the third floor, every day from uh, Monday through Thursday from 12.30 to 1.30, if you're 18 or under, drop by and get a free lunch, hang out, and attend programs with us. So that's the teen summer program. Thank you, Jennifer and Crescencia. I'm Haley Holmes. I'm the coordinator of services for adults for the library. And I'd like to invite you to participate in the adult summer reading program. So I get to encourage people 19 to 99 and up to participate because the public library has something for everyone. When you sign up for adult summer reading, you're gonna get a card. Each time you read or listen to a book or attend a program, you get a punch on your card. When you get four punches, you can pick out a free book that's been provided by the Friends of the San Antonio Public Library. When you get eight punches, you're entered to win some grand prizes from the San Antonio Public Library Foundation. And those prizes include a telescope, a home planetarium, some NASA messenger bags, so some pretty cool prizes that you might be able to win. In addition, every time you get a punch, you get entered to win one of these super snazzy t-shirts. So we have programs for adults as well, including craft programs where you can paint your own Phases of the Moon t-shirt and gaming. We're also going to have astronomy clubs out at many of the locations and these programs are open to families as well. So you can bring the whole family to see the night sky. And in cooperation with the Smithsonian, we're going to have a live webinar where they're going to recreate the Apollo moon landing for us in July. And that'll be simulcast at many locations at the same time. 
And I just want to finish by inviting you to our end of the summer game night that's going to be held here at the Central Library on August 3rd. And this is only for adults. We're going to have games on first and second floors from 6 to 10 p.m., including your probably first chance to play miniature golf in the library. <laughs> so I hope that we see you all here on August 3rd. And with that, we'd like to turn it back over to Romero. Wow, miniature golf. I'll put that on my calendar. I'm going to do that. <laughs> I want to thank um, Haley, Presencia, and Jennifer for providing amazing leadership in executing the three components of the Mayor's Summer Reading Program. Thank you so much. And thanking staff, I want to acknowledge the rest of the team, library team in all 30 locations uh, throughout the library system who also uh, provide excellent service and, and help us execute this program. I'd like to thank our marketing team led by Caitlin Coward. Where is Caitlin? Thank you. Thank you so much for organizing. And there's so many other staff mem members that work in the front lines as well as behind the, the scene. Too many to, to name, but I want to express my deep appreciation and gratitude for the work they do, uh, for the valuable work they do. They, they make me look good. So thank you so much. And so at this time, I would like to invite those that are here to participate in various activities and experiences and for you to have fun. Thank you again for being here this morning.